What's up, curl friends? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Elena, aka Lady Smash, and today I'm here to experiment. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be experimenting with something from the old school and then something from the new school, and we're gonna see how this works. I've been wanting to try this for quite a while, and you've probably seen by the title already. I'm gonna be trying the Blue Magic Hair Grease. Y'all know I'm no stranger to grease these days. And then I'm also going to be trying the Eco Slay Jello Shot along with it. So I've been wanting to try a grease wash and go for a minute now. Ever since I saw it like last year. And I've been getting into greases. And so I want to go ahead and try this while it's still a little bit cool here. Because um, y'all know Georgia is going to heat up real, real fast. But it's still a little cool here. And um, I figured I'd give it a shot, you know, before that heat sets in. So, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you're new around here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And don't forget to hit the notification bell while you're at it so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. I'm currently on an Ayurvedic journey and trying all kinds of different Ayurvedic treatments on my hair. And it's basically a challenge. So if you're interested in seeing that and everything else here on the channel, like I said, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. But let's get into this uh, wash and go. All right, y'all. So I just finished washing my hair. Well, not washing, but re-wetting my hair. Um, I went to bed late, 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 late last night after that um, Ayurvedic treatment, and I didn't get a chance to go in style. And then I was out in the garden all day, and so, yeah, my hair needed, like, a reset of water and, like, conditioning because it was looking a hot, hot mess. <laughs> So, for my leave-in, I'm going to be using the Nature's Little Secret Avocado uh, Moisture Cream. And then I'm going to go ahead in with the Blue Magic. So, let me just really quickly suction off. Okay, I've got my trusty water bottle here on the sidelines in case I need it, which I think I will. Because y'all know I'll be doing my wash and goes on soaking wet hair with my high porosity hair. Um, let me fix this. I need a little bit more in this section. There we go. All right, and I'm going to go in with the leave-in, so. And so this is my first time using this Nature's Little Secret leave-in. I have used the avocado, I mean the banana one before, and I really like that one. But everybody raves about this avocado one and how it kind of gives you a little bit more of a little, you know, moisture. So I figured I'd try this out because from what I hear, this Eco Shot, or well, Jello Shot, is really, really, really hard. <laughs> and so I was trying to figure out how to use this. Like, how should I use this um, Jello Shot? Because y'all know my hair is fine, okay? Fine, high porosity, color treated hair. And so I do not tend to retain moisture. Although I've been doing better with these Ayurvedic treatments, I find that I've been holding moisture a little bit better. But um, yeah, and then the Eco, Eco Slay is very crunchy. I hear it's a hard hold, um, you get crunchy, crunchy curls. And. For me, that could potentially be very dangerous because it could be drying to the hair and all of that stuff. So I was trying to think, like, what can I use that would kind of soften up that crunch just a little bit? And I thought about Blue Magic or Grease, period. So 
we're gonna see how this works okay this is really an experiment i don't think i've seen anybody do a wash and go with uh grease and jello shot i've seen people do blue magic and other gels but not with the jello shot so i guess you've seen it here first let me know if you haven't in the comments down below but anyway let's go ahead and get started with this grease Okay, I think I need to add some more water. I don't know how that jello shot reacts with water or whatever, but I need my hair to be a little bit more wet than what it currently is. Okay, that's better. And I don't have a towel, nothing. Like, I'm just, like, ill-prepared today, y'all. I just want to sit down, y'all. I've been in that garden literally all day, okay? All day. Today is my, me and my hubby's anniversary. We didn't do anything. Um, I, I basically did what I wanted to do, and he did what he wanted to do today. And so, I guess that's how you know you're getting old. Because <laughs> you're just content with doing whatever, you know? But anyway, um, I really needed to get stuff done out in the garden. And by the way, I'm not keep talking about my garden. So um, I do have a gardening channel. So if you're interested in seeing what I'm doing in my garden these days, um, check out my um, other channel, Gardening with Lady Smash. It's down in the comment, I'm down in the description box below all the time. So um, yeah, go check me out. That channel is growing by leaps and bounds, you guys. I cannot believe how fast that channel is growing. We're already at, uh, I wanna say over 200 subscribers. I just opened the channel. I wanna say maybe mid-February I opened the channel. And already I'm at two, 200 subscribers and I already have a viral video, so. Y'all go check me out over there and support your girl, okay? Or if you're just interested in gardening, just go check it out, okay? And don't forget to like the video while you're over there. I'm going to get me a towel. I will be right, right back. All right, y'all. So, let me just make sure. Oh, see this hair? You need to be detangled again. y'all I figured I would do a wash and go because my curls are absolutely popping after that Ayurvedic treatment and I when I say popping I mean popping look at that okay popping my hair is loving it my hair is loving it so I was like well let me rock my curls let's just rock the curls so no twist out today all right so i'm going to go in with about this much grease on this section i'm going to seal in this moisture here and i think what i'm going to go ahead and do is just do the whole section with grease first and then go back in with the jello shot yeah i think that's what i'm going to do Special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby girl, you can spend it oh. And everything is alright I like how you're doing alright, alright Like how you think alright Always on top of you You guys so this is what my hair is looking like just after the leave-in and the grease now I've seen people stop right here but for me and my hair I can't do that this will definitely turn into a puff ball okay the grease does not hold it seals in the moisture but it will not give you any hold well it don't give me any hold so I definitely have to go in with some type of a gel 
or holding agent or something maybe even mousse we may try that in the future y'all know i just did a, a braid out using mousse and that was super cute so maybe we'll try that too let me know if you would be interested in seeing grease with mousse who knows what, what, what that's gonna hold but i'm willing to give it a shot but now i'm gonna go ahead and with the eco slay jello shot i have not yet opened it the tape is still on here okay so i finally got it open and i have the pop top one i know i don't think they're making this anymore from what i've heard but this is what mine looks like it's not even filled to the top y'all i don't know how i feel about that but um yeah it's seems to be oh yeah this is kind of a thick gel Let me show y'all it's kind of thick okay so i feel like this is gonna be like a super hold it kind of reminds me from what i've seen almost like that frozen um was it frozen dip something or frozen by sultanicals i don't have that gel but from what i can kind of tell here it's kind of what it's looking like to me from what i've seen you know other girls have had it's pretty it's a pretty thick gel but it's smooth it smells like it smells like plastic to me you know how like you get a new baby doll or a barbie doll or something and you open it and you have that fresh out the box plastic smell that's the vibe i'm getting that's what i'm getting plasticky smells so i don't know how i feel about that but let's see what it's going to do so y'all saw how much i took there i'm just gonna add it to this section It's hard to pick up. all right y'all so this is the first section and what i can tell you right now oh man what i can feel is that um this feels a kind of, it feels a little heavy on my hair on my strands this feels like a, a thick product just on my strands y'all um, I think this is going to dry hard. <laughs> I think this is going to dry hard, but hopefully it still won't dry too hard, being that I have the grease on. Um, but I, I do feel like if I didn't, if I don't have grease in my hair, then this is going to like be super crunchy. And I feel like I put maybe a little bit too much on those beginning parts. But so I'll just be mindful to try to not use too much going forward but this is what it looks like let me show y'all the back okay that's how it's looking so far i mean the curls are nice like i said my curls were popping anyway from that treatment but after putting all the products on it still looks pretty good so i'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my hair and i will come back when i'm all done all right, y'all, so this is it. I finished applying everything, all right? And this is what I'm looking like. These are the wet results. I think the wet results are definitely awesome. Like, curls are popping like popcorn. Definitely popping. See how it moves. It moves nicely. Well, not, but yeah, it moves nicely. Um, but yeah, I think it's gonna dry hard still. Um, but hopefully it won't be too too hard um, this is my first time I'm gonna have to do something with this one that's gonna frizz out I'm gonna put some water on that real quick 
because that is gonna frizz out the way that's looking. Let's get a little bit of gel. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what the dry results are going to hold. I'm definitely, I'm going to air dry because I got stuff to do. I can't sit under the dryer today. But, um, I feel like if I did sit under the dryer, this would be, you know, the curls would really lock in the place nicely. Hopefully I don't get too much, you know, too much frizz. As y'all saw, I was getting ready to get some frizz right there. But I did, like, part my hair after I applied. So that could be just, you know, I did this side first. And then I did this side in the front. And then I parted my hair. So that could just been from the separation. But I'm not going to touch it. After, you know otherwise like here you see this part is getting frizzy too I'm gonna have to fix that um we'll see what happens with that situation um but yeah I don't really have too much else to say right now other than the curls are popping my hair does feel weighed down with this product and but I have grease on it too and this particular blue magic is like the heavier one so we'll see we'll see what happens is this gonna keep the moisture in um you know is it gonna soften up this hard holding gel we'll see so just stay tuned y'all i will be back when it's all dry and let me just show y'all how much i used i really didn't use much like i said they didn't fill this jar up to begin with but i don't need a lot of gel anyway because my hair is fine and yeah i just need a light coating although like i said i felt like i was a little bit heavy-handed with this for my hair i don't know we'll see <laughs> we'll see so i'm back and here are my results okay so we've got a crunch free wash and go it's not crunchy at all but I can tell this is a definitely a stronghold gel, okay? If I did not use grease, my hair would be crunchy, okay? Like they say, crunchy AF. Yeah, my hair would be crunchy AF. <laughs> but with that grease, so I guess my theory was white, right, because with the grease, there's a crunch-free hold here. Now, I don't know how well this is going to stand up to, like, elements, because um well my hair is prone to frizzing anyway with just grease okay and so i noticed that as i was separating some parts it would get frizzy okay and that's because it's you know it's it's crunch free like it's not as hard as it would be if i would have probably used um i don't know maybe their leave-in or some other leave-in and then also, I'm sure you do see just a little bit of frizz here and there, but that was because when I went to bed, um, it was still a little damp in a couple places, like especially in the crown and like this section here, I think up in here a little bit, it was a little bit damp. And so I put my satin scrunchies on and, you know, to stretch it out for today. And so this is what I got, but I'm wondering if I would have sat under the hair dryer would it have locked it in just a little bit more you know what i'm saying um to where you don't see any frizz so i don't know we'll have to visit that we'll have to try that and see if that if that's a if that theory works you know what i'm saying um but i think this is going to be the way that i'm going to need to use the eco slay jello shot um, I will try it with another really, really moisturizing um, leave-in, but I'm sure it's going to be hella crunchy. I'm sure it is going to be because this is some serious hold here, you know, even with the grease, it's some serious hold. Yeah, it's no, it's no crunch. There's literally no crunch here. It's just a super hold. So, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to see what kind of what pairs well with this um this jello shot if y'all have any suggestions of what pairs with it that keeps your hair moisturized and not getting a crunch free hold let me know in the comment section down below keep in mind i have high porosity hair so the moisture leaves very quickly for me so 
that way and that was one of the reasons why I chose to use grease now I wonder if other greases how well other greases will work blue magic is the blue one anyway is one of the heavier ones for my hair and so that's why I chose that one to use with this gel because all the reviews I've heard <laughs> this ego shot e what is it jello shot is like super duper super duper hold so and they're not they're not lying it's a super duper hold but again my results are crunch free movable okay I feel like this is gonna last for at least the three days you know what I'm saying I will come back in three days to give y'all an update of how it you know how it worked out because again I'm not sure how this is gonna hold up to like humidity or anything like that and I know we are supposed to be getting some rain this week so we'll see. We'll see if the humidity does anything to my hair. I'll probably try to step out into the elements just to see if it really holds up or not. But I'm sure if I didn't use a grease, it would probably hold up. But then again, it'll probably be crunchy too. So <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Let me know if you have tried the Eco Shot, no, Eco Slay Jello Shot with grease or did you hear it here for the first time let me know in the comment section down below so i'm not mad at it um and yeah we'll, we'll just see how it goes so thanks so much for watching you guys i don't forget i love and appreciate you all for watching and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel girlfriend what are you waiting for Go ahead and hit the subscribe button because we're going to be experimenting with a whole lot more products this year. We're going to be experimenting with mousse and some more gels and mix and matching leave-ins and all that other good stuff and some of your recommendations as well. So definitely hit the, subs the subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit a like for me on your way out. I would really appreciate it as well as the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos that I put out. And with all that, I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.